Well, hello folks and welcome back to an uh, interesting video. Uh, here we are at the start of the video, so uh, hopefully this day goes good and everything works out smoothly and I get home with, uh, with the purchase. So yeah, obviously from the thumbnail and from the title, uh, I finally bit the bullet and bought a dump truck, a tandem. And I used to have a tandem like years ago when I first bought my 080, which would have been five years ago, I think. Um, I started out with, with a tandem and a triaxle tag, moving the machine all over, you know, the Maritimes, doing it that way. And I wasn't really using the tandem as a tandem, like as a dump truck, unless I was using it on my own property. Other than that, I was using just to cart the machine all over the place to do the mulching at the cell tower sites and stuff. So I got I got thinking like, man, there's there's got to be a bit of a better way to do this. So then I figured out, you know, I've got I can buy a gooseneck trailer in a in a in a 550 or you know 450 whatever, and I'll be within my weight limits. I can do it that way. Then the guys that are on the road, they can just unhook from the trailer, and you know you've got a pickup truck to drive around to go to hotel rooms and stuff versus trying to drive around in a tandem. I was always having to send a second truck with um, that guy so that it wasn't so hard to, you know, to get around and stuff. But anyway, so I end up selling the tandem. I use it, like I said, on my own property and that was about it. And when I was living at my last house, I knew I wasn't staying there forever, so I didn't really advertise much private work. I didn't want to build up a, you know, a clientele and then move. So now I know where I'm gonna be living. I'm gonna be living in that area for well, the conceivable future anyway, you know, knock on wood. And I started to advertise some, some local work. So now I've got a lot of groundwork. I'm doing a lot of local, local groundwork stuff. And plus, you know, my own properties that I have and my own other uh, investments, like investment properties that I'm working on with other people and stuff. I need a tandem like I'm hiring tandems all the time all the time the last you know two or three years I've been I've been hiring 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 them for the day or two or three days here and there and then sometimes something happens where I can't get it and it just messes up my schedule it's so hard to schedule around other people's trucks because everybody is wide open so it's time so it's time to buy one uh, I've been looking for a while. I found one that uh, I really like, really well taken care of. Uh, you're gonna, you guys are gonna see it here in a few minutes. But first, I've got the, I'm in the 350 right now. I'm going to pick John up. Then we, we're going to PEI to get the truck. And it so happens that we're going to PEI with this uh, truck and trailer and skid steer because we got some work over there. So John's gonna stay over there and work. I'm gonna pick the truck up and, and head on, head on out of there. So first, we have to go all the way to PEI with this truck and trailer, pick up the merchandise. All right, folks, well, here we are, crossing the Confederation Bridge, heading back home. I can tell you one thing, you definitely get a nicer view from up here, that's, that's for sure. Um, so here I am driving a tandem, and I can tell you that it's, uh, it's a little different than riding a bike. Upshifting is no real problem. I'm still grinding the gears here every once in a while, but downshifting is a whole different ball game. Definitely takes some getting used to. The last truck that I owned was a 10 speed. This one's an eight speed. It's an 8LL, the Eaton Fuller 8LL. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like a nine speed with a super low, really, because your low is, well, is low. But then you also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, flip, flip your splitter, go up to your higher gears. So it's, it's more like a nine speed, really. I've been starting off in low. I don't know if you really, you really need to, but I've been starting off in low. Maybe next time I start from a stop, I'll, uh, I'll start in first. But yeah, here we are, it's a 2005. Uh, it's a Sterling L9500. The truck itself is in really good shape. When I get out, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a walk around for sure, but the 
truck's in really good shape. It just went through an inspection. It's got eight brand new tires on the back. Everything in here pretty much works the way it's supposed to. I'm not sure if the cruise control works yet. That's something I'll have to find out. Um, don't know how bright the lights are, but it looks like I'll probably find out because it's five o'clock right now. And I don't think I'll make it home by dark. Uh, my fuel mileage, honestly, have no idea. It's been four or five years since I owned a tandem. The only thing in this in this truck that I know that doesn't work is the uh, is the air condition. But he said that it used to work. It just stopped working not too long ago. So chances are it just needs to be recharged. Check that out. <laughs> Gotta love it. And I still have a horn. But uh, anyway, that's it for now, really. Sit back and enjoy the drive, other than the fact that it is it is kind of warm in here, so I keep the window down to keep myself cool. But I'm gonna stop in all lock and uh, get a couple bottles of water and stuff, and I probably will throw a bit of fuel in here. We're at like third of it, we're at two like third of a tank. Again, I don't know how, how good this thing is on fuel, so I don't know if it will make it make it back with that much or not but uh yeah i mean here we are okay well we're just cruising along here we're between uh truro and the halifax airport uh you know trucks trucks doing good definitely need to get that uh air condition air condition going in this thing though because uh it gets pretty hot in here that's for sure window down it's not too bad but i put the window up she's uh she's toasty she's definitely toasty um, you know, it's not a great test of, of how well I can drive right now because most of it's highway driving. I've made a few stops, obviously, gone through two sets of scales, uh, fueled up, you know, there's been, there's been some shifting, but not, not like I would be on a regular basis, a lot of starting and stopping, and backing up and getting loads and, you know, stuff like that, but... Yeah, it's it's starting to come back to me a bit there's there's times where the shift is really good and times where the shift isn't so good but I'm gonna head on home and uh, pick this video up back up tomorrow uh, I'm gonna go over and finish off that septic that I had started I don't know which video is gonna come out first this one or the septic one but anyway I'm gonna go over and finish that off and there will be a little bit of stuff to haul out of there so I will be using this truck tomorrow. I gotta go to the uh, DMV and get it registered in my name and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, uh, I'm just trucking. All right, well, here is the first load going in to the truck.
call that a load. Fix this pile up when I get back for the next one. All right, well, I'll give you a little walk around of the truck. I'll lift the box up and, uh, you know, show you the underneath. So this truck came from PEI. Obviously, you can see that uh, in yesterday's portion of this video. It's a 20, 2005 Sterling uh, 9500, I believe I mentioned that already. I do, uh, they had it registered for 26,000 kgs, and I'm able to do that, but I have to go to a shop and get them to check the axles, basically. Right now, it's at 23.5. That's as big as I can go without the shop signing off on the front axle, um, you know, being uh, able to withstand the more weight. So when I first looked at the truck, I did not like the rear tires on it. They were they were sort of wore down. They weren't all that bad, but um, they just didn't have a whole lot of tread on them. And doing what I'm doing, a lot of lock clearing stuff, I need a good tread. So um, before I picked up the truck, Buddy put put eight brand new tires on the back um, they put a new this this bushing here had like the smallest amount of play in it whatsoever he replaced that they just put a brand new shock on it yesterday you can see that's brand new this is not rust that is PEI soil see it coming off it is a very 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 solid truck in very good shape the box is in good shape it's got an electric tarp um, you know, it's just, it's, it's got spreader chains. It's in extremely good shape. Extremely good shape. Air, air suspension. There's nothing really bad to, uh, to show about it, to be honest. It just went through an inspection last week before I, before I picked it up. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the springs are all basically all brand new. just a really solid truck it's uh it's the interior is is you know it's not the not the best the interior is a little bit rough but you know that i can deal with that's for sure but here let's fire it up and i'll, I'll lift i'll lift up the box so you can see the frame not a speck of rust on it again this is all just soil no leaks no drips no nothing the air cans are all pretty much new uh man she's just solid solid the box isn't all beat to crap you know everything is very very well taken care of this guy definitely took really good care of this truck that's for sure i'll pop the hood you can, you can take a look at that so here we are underneath everything here looks really really good Nothing to complain about here. It's in, it's pretty clean for the most part. The belts are all basically brand new. The turbo and everything looks pretty good. The intakes and the outtakes look, look to be in really good shape. For a 17 year old truck, she looks pretty good. That's for sure. And again, this is not rust. This is just all dust. You see they're very well lubricated, well greased. The oil looks like it's brand new in it. Oh, she's a uh, she's a good solid truck. Hopefully it hopefully it does me good. It seems like it will, but you know you can't really ever tell when it comes to this stuff. But it seems like it will do pretty good. put the box back down so it actually has a feature in it that uh, the second that you the second that you flip to put your box down it disengages the PTO so a lot of trucks a lot of times guys will be driving down the road with their PTO still engaged and that's no good so this is the PTO here this is the the tailgate lock and this is um, this is my my tarp my electric tarp like I said, the interior, it's got a few battle wounds on it, that's for sure, but if I really wanna go crazy, I, I can fix that stuff up. Like I said, the only thing in this that doesn't work is the air condition, so I do wanna get the air condition recharged. It does get pretty toasty in here. 
I am going to put uh, I am going to put a seat cover and a cushion on this seat here just to you know try to make it a little bit more comfortable make it look you know a little cleaner and stuff like that again PEI dust <laughs> but anyway guys this was long overdue for us that's for sure uh, I did look at a few trucks and there was a couple that I liked uh, and a couple that didn't didn't stack up to what they looked like online you know that sort of thing but in the end I I really like this truck I like the guy that was selling the truck I could really tell that he takes care of his stuff that's for sure um, and that's that's key someone that just lets them go till they die that's not someone you want to buy something from because you're just gonna be buying someone else's problems but this guy definitely wanted to keep him on the road and keep him going as long as possible he took he took pretty good care of him that's that's for sure but I mean, sitting there looking at that truck right now, you would not think that's a 2005. Like, it looks a lot newer than that, that's for sure. When you get inside, it shows its age a bit, that's for sure. But I can, I can work with that for now. But anyway, guys, stay tuned. Obviously, lots more videos coming. This will speed up the process at the cottage, speed up all the processes here with stumps and everything we got laying around. It's just, it, it was definitely a necessity. I'm trying to get out of that, get out of the sun, but get the truck in there too. But um, yeah, so stay tuned. Lots more to come as always, that's for sure. But until next time, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you then, bye.